Border Patrol episode 13 was fucking amazing and I'm just gonna skip my intro and fucking talk about it. This is my episode review, alright? I'm gonna talk about what I liked about the episode, because that's right, there was actually nothing that I actually didn't like about this episode. Holy shit! Finally, we get to see some fucking backstory on the class rep, and I love that, alright? And the reason why I love that is because we basically didn't know anything about the class rep. I mean, as you guys saw on pre my previous Boruto episode reviews, you know, I thought the class rep was this cute, clumsy, you know, cliche anime character, but she's basically just a psycho murderer that wants to get revenge on the village. Or is she a psycho murderer, right? Because that's also another thing that I liked about this episode. They basically showed her backstory, like I said earlier, and basically her dad want, wants her to get revenge on the, the village, right? Because of his selfish reasons. Now, obviously this is something that's big and this is something that's huge because this basically means that the class rep had no childhood. Like, Pretty much all of her childhood, pretty much all of her time as a kid was just with one purpose, one mission in mind, and that was to destroy the Hidden Leaf Village, to grow strong, to destroy the Hidden Leaf Village for no reason at all whatsoever. Which is honestly why I think that on the next episode, Boruto is going to get through her and the class rep is going to be a good guy because the class rep wants Boruto's D. Guys! My instinct tells me that the class rep wants the Boruto D, and I know my instinct is correct, goddammit. One of you guys on the previous, uh, you know, episode review, you guys were like, oh, maybe the class rep falls in love with Mitsuki. Now, I don't really keep up with the Boruto manga. I rarely watch theory videos, and by rarely, I mean I watch zero theory videos on Boruto. But, I do know this. The class rep will, will not, she will not fall in love with Mitsuki even though his arms are basically tentacles. And the reason why the class rep is not going to fall in love with that scumbag is because he tried to kill her. Alright, let's talk about more shit that I liked about this episode. Kakashi showed up. He was like, hey, hey, I'm Kakashi, I got a big dick. And I swing it around. And you can't do shit about it. Alright. Hey, look at me, I'm Kakashi. I got this purple lightning that I created after the fourth great ninja war because I didn't have a shoring gun. Amazing! I'm very, very glad that Kakashi showed up. Love that about the episode. By the way, we also got to see some visual confirmation that Kakashi is still powerful as fuck, goddammit. He summoned basically what, like eight mud walls? I'm sorry if my calculation was correct, I failed my math test nine fucking times. Anyways, the point is that he summoned a lot of mud walls and that takes a shit ton of chakra, which just goes to show that Kakashi is still powerful with Sharingan or no Sharingan. Now obviously, you know, he was able to um, do jutsus and stuff and have his, his uh, Sharingan activated at the same time, so obviously we knew that Kakashi was powerful for a long time ago i'm just saying bro he still got it all right he's still in his uh prime time prime age anyways whatever very very cool very very glad to see kakashi now another thing that i liked about this episode is newish just shows up right naruto also shows up and naruto's like hey i'm naruto um i basically defeated the mother of all chakra and i basically defeated her two sons and i got a big dick and i swing it around and I'm going to One Punch Man, hashtag Saitama, this beast, no way. And Kakashi's like, whoa, 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 first of all, Naruto, hold up. I'm the one that swings his dick around here. Second of all, if you blow that thing up, that thing is going to blow us up. All right, so I really, really like that, right? I really like that in this episode, Naruto just couldn't fight his way out of this, right? Naruto just couldn't, you know, use power to pretty much get his way, right? And obviously, you know, that's very, very awesome because that means Boruto is going to, you know, it's going to have to be the one to take care of this problem. Obviously, it's the Boruto anime. I want Boruto to be the hero. I don't want Naruto to be the hero. I want Naruto to be in the Boruto anime. All right, but I want Boruto to take the spotlight on everything, okay? So, another thing that I liked about this episode as well, actually, is, um, uh, you know, how basically uh, Mitsuki got some orders, of course, from Orochimaru, and then, you know, Orochimaru uh, told him, you know, told Mitsuki to kill Simure, Sumire, I don't know how to say her name, the class rep, alright, uh, Mitsuki, I mean, Orochimaru told Mitsuki to kill the class rep, and then he was talking to Boruto, and I was like, yo, if, you know, if Mitsuki doesn't go kill the class rep, like, and you know, just because Boruto convinced him, then that, that's actually going to suck, like, I actually just want Mitsuki to just go follow Orochimaru's order, because it just goes to show that, He's still blinded and he still doesn't have like full faith in Boruto as his son. And of course, Mitsuki, uh, by the way, I mean son as in like the son. That, anyway, you guys know what I mean. Anyways, Mitsuki just goes out and he decides to just uh, murder Sumire. Simure. I don't know how to say her name, goddammit. The fucking class rep. Alright, so anyways, that was basically very, very cool. Okay, last but not least, 
uh, I'm very very glad that we also got to see more information on uh, Nue, you know this beast type thingy uh, Basically, uh, you know Kakashi went through Danzo's studies because of course Kakashi is always five steps ahead Like he always was in the anime kind of honestly because he didn't see the old Obito thing coming on I mean going on anyways the point is that basically the jutsu caster and Nue would go into enemy territory they would fuck shit up they would go on a rampage and then they would all they would just blow themselves up because you know that actually makes a lot of sense not nah, that doesn't make any sense I never understood the methods of the foundation which is why I just I don't know I would always just get pissed at the foundation and why I hated Sai when he was first introduced as a character honestly but I think that was the whole point of Sai and the foundation honestly uh, anyways uh, so towards the ending of the episode, okay, Boruto just goes on, you know, to save Sumire, Simure, whatever, okay, and then his eye starts acting up when he, you know, when it's around that black chakra snake, and this is where my theory comes in, boys, okay, so get ready for this. I think, you know, okay, so here's the thing. Boruto got close to the black chakra thingy, and then Nue teleported itself, okay, and then Nue basically absorbed... Uh, the class ref's chakra. Oh, and by the way, I pretty much saw that coming from 25 fucking miles away. I was like, oh, you know what? The Nue, Nue, she, uh, he still needs chakra, and I'm pretty sure the class rep is just going to give herself up to Nue because, you know, that's something that she would do because, you know, her freaking daddy basically brainwashed, brainwashed her to fuck up the village. Anyways, the whole point is that uh, I think, guys, that in the next episode Boruto is going to defeat Nue somehow some way and he is going to you know use the talk no jutsu on the class rep and it's going to work and I think Boruto is going to absorb Nue I mean he did kind of summon Nue in the past so maybe this means that Boruto has Nue inside of him and it's like a power that Boruto has I mean as you guys know Naruto had the nine tails inside of him and basically the nine tails was plot relevant throughout the entire fucking series so maybe new way is plot, re plot relevant throughout the entire fucking series because i do have to say this actually um you know at the beginning my theory is you know that that little uh blue thingy that boruto had in his eye at the beginning of you know of the first episode that's probably new way Right, like that has to be Nue. Okay, that's my theory. Now keep in mind, I don't watch other theory videos. I don't keep up with the Boruto manga, none of that stuff. So again, you know, it's just a wild guess of mine. But I think that would actually be pretty cool. And I think it would be pretty cool if Boruto gets Nue's power like that. He can use it to fight other evil threats that are going to go after the Hidden Leaf Village and all of that good stuff. Anyways, on the episode 14 preview, we did see Boruto talking with a class rep and... Uh, I kind of hope that the class rep at first doesn't listen to Boruto and you know they kind of like fight a little bit that would be pretty cool but quite honestly I think it's pretty obvious what's going to happen in the next episode Boruto is going to use Tok no Jutsu and he's going to get through the class rep because quite honestly I think that the class rep does like Boruto okay I, I think they have a crush and we'll have to wait 890 episodes until they get married and have kids and Boruto maybe becomes the next Hokage Anyways, um, of course, we're going to talk more about episode 14 on the episode 14 review. Let me know what you guys think in the comment sections below, and I'll be seeing you guys in the next one. If you enjoyed the video, drop it a like, subscribe to join the Sabahai Cartel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. More Boruto episode reviews in the description below. Peace.